Chip Ganassi Racing's Scott Dixon has had a whirlwind start to 2015. The IndyCar ace has been racing with Ganassi Sports Car Squad at both the Daytona 24 Hours, where they won, and the 12 Hours of Sebring, where they just missed out. But win or lose, the Kiwi enjoys working across the different programmes for the team. For me, it's easy. It's a lot of familiar faces, a lot of people that have worked on the IndyCar team. It was, you know, run out of the same shop until just recently, and you're in a car, you know. So when you've had a lot of time off, you know, all you want to do is be in the car. But day in New Orleans, two days of Barber, straight to Sebring for the 12 hours, straight back to New Orleans for two-day tests and straight to St. Pete. So it's, uh, it's good times, right? You know, I think 11 days out of 16, I'll be in a car, so that's good. After a switch to Chevrolet engines, the Ganassi team had a slow start to last year's IndyCar campaign, but the race wins did come eventually. And at the season finale, the 2013 champ and teammate Tony Kanaan scored a 1-2 finish. If you look at from you know exactly halfway in the championship to, to the last race, you know Tony and I were actually one-two in points, so uh, it was definitely quite the transformation. And you know I think there was also a little bit for Tony and myself to work together too. You know we'd raced against each other for 13 years but never been on the same team. So, you know, those relationships take a little bit of time, but, um, you know, it's, it's been fantastic so far. The pre-season testing going into this year, everything just seems to be working. New aero kits should see lap records tumble this season, though well, limited testing makes it hard to predict just who's on top. Doubtless season champions Penske and Indy 500 winners Andretti will be Ganassi's main rivals when it all kicks off on the streets of St. Pete. I love starting the year in St. Pete. It's a, it's a fantastic track, great way to get some warm weather after the Indianapolis uh, winter. I've never won there. I think I've podiumed maybe four times, second and third. It's been a poor start for us in, in uh, recent history. So hopefully we can kind of spin that around and get something valuable from there. But um, it's a tough track, quite technical, not just some of your typical 90 degree street course tracks that we have on the series. But I think it's hard going into the first one too, because you've had, you know, winter testing, you know, you're, uh, the team you go with, you're expected to do extremely well. You're expected to be one of the favorites. So you have a lot of butterflies and a lot of anxiousness going into the first race. And I love that part. And, and uh, hopefully we can, you know, do well at that place. But yeah, turn one. Always a crowd favourite, obviously, for the start uh, to kick off the year. It's very wide on the runway there. It's hard to get a street course where you can visually see a lot, but also have great, great passing zones. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a track that just about has it all. The 34-year-old is fifth on the all-time list with 35 victories in IndyCar, including an Indy 500 win in 2008. And heading into his 14th year with Ganassi, he remains just as driven to succeed. My main goal, as always, is to start the season is to win the Indy 500. Secondly, to win the championship, it doesn't change. I love being part of the team. It's it's family, and uh, I get to race for a living. How about you know? It couldn't get much better than what I got.